The plane came in very hot to land. At the time I was saying, why, like, well, what is the rush? And they pointed behind us and you see some dark smoke and I said, what is that? And, and my escort officer said, sir, that's where ISIS is. My name is uh, Paul Hindo and I am the honorary colonel of the Canadian Army. I grew up in Baghdad, Iraq, uh, till I was 14 years old. Um, Baghdad itself was a great city, it was a beautiful city. It was full of historic buildings and modern architecture. There was a very thriving middle class. So my childhood was very, very, very happy actually. In 1972, um, we came to Canada on a visit. And while we're here, there was a, a soft coup d'etat, if you will, in Iraq. And my parents at the time decided that it is best for us to stay in Canada. And my first year in Sujet, I was looking for a summer job. There was an ad that says, want to be a guardsman for the summer? Next thing I knew, I was in this armory. And so I walked in, left, right, left, right, left, right. My mother said, so how did your job interview go? I said, mom, I think I joined the Canadian military. And she was, what? When my, uh, my employer, Royal Page Commercial, moved me to Ottawa, I kind of uh, retired from the military as a captain. Then in 2009, I was appointed as Honor Colonel of the Cameron Highlanders of Ottawa, after which I was appointed as Honor Colonel of the Canadian Army. So I had the privileges of visiting some interesting countries. But when it came to visit to Iraq, of course, I jumped on it right away. Many people, in fact, advised me not to go back because all I had is this image of this beautiful city, um, you know, all my friends, beautiful neighborhoods. It was a country in, in, in ruins. It is heartbreaking and it's, it's, a, it's you wonder how did we allow it to get this bad. The flight into Baghdad, that was quite poignant for me. I'm saying, oh yes, I remember that. That's the church where I had my first communion. All of a sudden, all these my dad, I was saying, oh, my dad, I hope he's looking down on us. There was wonderful to see the Canadian men and women in, 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 in action, um, training the Iraqis to be self-sufficient, to be able to defend themselves, to be able to take ownership of the country again. And the interesting thing is when you meet the Iraqis and um, they see a Canadian and then speak in their language, but their dialect, oh, their eyes just open up. It was quite, a, quite an emotional experience for me. We live in the best country. Our biggest challenge here is we're so isolated. Sometimes we have it too good here. Uh, sometimes we don't appreciate our men and women in uniform as much as we should. And I can tell you, um, they allow Canada to punch way above its weight. You may not feel it now, but in 10, 15, 20 years from now, you can look back with pride and say, I was part of that mission that, that rebuilt the whole country.